Jerry Garvin excelled in baseball and basketball while at Merced High. On the diamond, he was named first team all CCC in 1972 and 1973, including MVP in 1973, where he averaged two strikeouts per inning and was team captain of the basketball squad in his senior season. But it was baseball where he made his biggest mark. Following a stellar baseball career with the Bears, Jerry was selected by the Baltimore Orioles in the 17th round of the 1973 Major League Baseball June Amateur Draft. He decided not to sign as he weighed scholarship offers from several Division I schools or stay close to home and attend Merced College. He decided to stay and enroll at Merced College. Fate, however, came knocking hard seven months following the June draft as he was selected in the first round, the 11th pick overall, by the Minnesota Twins in the 1974 MLB January draft secondary phase. After an intense period of personal deliberation, he decided to sign with the Twins. It didn't take long for him to make an impact. While with Minnesota's single-A affiliate in Wisconsin in 1974, Jerry notched an impressive 14-7 record with two shutouts and one no-hitter. At the plate, he batted 271 with a pair of home runs and 11 RBIs in just 69 plate appearances. He followed it up with an even more impressive sophomore season with Reno of the California League, where he led the league in wins, 17, ERA, 2.55, and complete games, 17, while notching three shutouts. The following season, he split time between AA Orlando and AAA Tacoma. With Orlando, he racked up 11 wins with a 3.39 ERA and 15 complete games in 23 starts. With Tacoma, he went 4-3 with 5 complete games in 7 starts. His meteoric rise through the Twins' farm system raised the brows of Major League Brass, especially those of the expansion Toronto Blue Jays, which was granted a Major League franchise to begin play in 1977. In November 1976, Jerry was the second overall pick of the expansion draft. The following spring, Jerry made his Major League debut with an impressive performance against the Chicago White Sox on April 10th, a 3-1 Toronto victory. He pitched eight strong innings and limited the White Sox to just five hits. He didn't stop there as he went on to become the first rookie in Major League history to win four games by the end of April. He finished his freshman campaign with 10 wins and was selected by Tops to the All-Rookie Team. Jerry finished his six-year Major League career, all with the Toronto Blue Jays, with 20 victories and established team marks for most games started by a rookie, 34, which still stands as a rookie record. Most appearances by a pitcher, 61, in 1980. Most career pitching appearances, 194. A major league record of 23 pickoffs in one season. Today, Jerry lives in Springville, Utah with his wife, Cindy. They are the parents of six children and eight grandchildren. Since his retirement from baseball following the 1982 season, Jerry has been involved in real estate and other business ventures. Jerry says, I'm honored and humbled to even be considered for induction into the Merced High School Hall of Fame. I love my time here and am especially grateful for the many people who are involved in helping me have a successful career in baseball. I want to thank all of them, especially my teammates, coaches, and teachers. I've learned over the years how much time and dedication teachers and coaches put into their jobs, and I'm thankful for that. A special thanks to Coach Richard Juarez and Larry Nelson. I certainly could not have done this without the support of my wonderful family.